if you use Google Voice as your primary phone number, you might have seen some issues um, with Hangouts as your texting app. It's been terrible. Um, what's, what's been happening with me is I go to send an SMS, not a message, I go to send an SMS to a cell phone number and it seems like a whole bunch of people in my address book, I'm sending an invite rather than an SMS. So here's what we do. Bottom left hand corner, look at this. We got Google Voice. Boom. Go through the setup of Google Voice. Great texting app. SMS only. There is no invites. There's no Hangouts messages. It's just sending SMS from your Google Voice number. Works great. What you don't do in here is you don't connect um, your home phone to it or your, your cell phone number to it. It wants you to connect a cell phone number to it. Don't even bother with it. You're not using this for a phone. You're only using this for texting app. Um, works great. Uh, this is 2018, so we use uh, we got all kinds of uh, uh, group texting available on here now. You'll get your messages over here. And uh, anyway, don't connect your cell phone number to it because you're not going to use Google Voice for calls. Keep running into the issue of Hangouts ringing and the cell phone ringing at the same time. Um, seemed to be no way around it. I've tried every different thing. So what we do is in Hangouts, messages are going to be disconnected under the settings. Incoming phone calls, messages are turned off. So you're uh, still going to get Hangouts messages sent to you. If somebody sends you a Hangouts message, they are going to come through Hangouts. But primarily what we're using this Hangouts for is making phone calls. I want to make a phone call, I open Hangouts. I want to do a text, I open here. It's a little bit of a thing to get used to, but you're there in five minutes, you get used to it, it's way better. Uh, Google Voice is just a way better texting app without all the issues that Hangouts has.